looked up uh, one point, and the statistics looked like we were Air Force. I thought we were Air Force. We were running the ball. I thought we were Western Kentucky back in the uh, the early 90s under Jack Harbaugh. Uh, but it was a great job. Uh, I've never seen that many plus 50-yard runs in one game, any team I've ever coached so uh, that we're, or been on. That was uh, quite the performance. Karan and, and uh, Chris had spectacular runs. Um, the counter play was really good to us today. Uh, the blocking was really efficient, great precision there um, by the line. And uh, tight ends, very good. Um, I really didn't, I didn't see any missed blocks in the, in the running game. Uh, they're probably always, it's never as good as you think it is, but there'll probably be a few. But I thought it was really, really good, really good. The guys up front, I mean, that was, that was a, ga a game for the ages. You know, if you're an offensive lineman, um, fullbacks, uh, same. Uh, receivers got in on the action. Uh, they were blocking as well. So it was, it was uh, quite the performance, rushing the football. In the middle? Coach, in the past two games, the running game has done very well. But are you concerned that the passing game hasn't gotten more opportunities to be able to shine and improve? going into these last three games of the season, especially with two big games looming against Wisconsin and Ohio State? Well, we were running the, we were running the ball so well. I mean, uh, I think 10 yards of rush per attempt, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I'm sure if, sure if we had done it any other way, you would have, but why didn't you run the ball more? Uh, we probably would have got that question, right? Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, we just kept, Kept feeding the running game. It was working. Over to your right, Coach Chris. Coach, can you talk about what went into the decision to start Caesar when uh, Mike was hurt and how we played? Yeah, we had a we had a three man competition at that position during the week of practice, and and uh, Caesar Caesar won it, and um, and I thought he played really well. Uh, I gave up uh, gave up one. One hit on the quarterback, but uh, a sack. But uh, good to see him get that action. Um, you know, it's been it's been time for him to play now for for a few weeks, and thought he stepped up and, and did very well. And he earned it. He earned it in practice. Coach Drebno was was uh, we were grading the grading the tape after each practice to to see who to play at that position, and, and he went out and put himself well. Coach on your left here, Ryan. When you're watching the table from last week and your first impressions from tonight, I guess is there a bigger reason that stands out to you as to how the running game has improved so much over the past couple of weeks? Have you noticed anything in particular behind this improvement? Um, yeah, it's just it's it's uh, it's just gotten it's gotten a little bit better and better and and um, you know just just precision there. I think the backs are doing a really good job making the blocks right. That was my impression watching the tape last week. I mean, uh, and tonight, uh, the way they're seeing things and, and cutting and and making the blocks right, uh, it's it's impressive. And you know, they've been breaking out. And you know, gosh, we got action. We got action again because they're uh, the plays are blocked well, and and the and the backs are are seeing it and making the appropriate cuts and and finishing runs. It's very impressive. Coach, back left, Jeff. Uh, Hudson seemed to be everywhere tonight, especially behind the line of scrimmage. You talk about his performance. What a game. What a game. Uh, spectacular performance by Kalik Hudson. Six and a half tackles for a loss, two sacks, forced fumble. Uh, you're right. I mean, that it looked like he was everywhere. He really had strong hands. I mean, that really showed up in this game. He was um, you know, everywhere he was supposed to be. and. And making the sure tackles, uh, you know, and he's a great guy. He uh, works works extremely hard, and <clears throat> great to see it pay off for our team. Quick follow up: What happened on that block part with him? Um, I think he got ahead of it. I think he got ahead of the. I think he dove and got past the ball, and you know, the ball snuck, snuck, snuck around him. You know, um, so back and look at. It. I mean. It's a fine line. I mean, you're trying not to rough the punter, but 
when you're that deep in there, maybe that's, that's the time to just go right at him, you know, take him out and block the punt. But uh, incredible job for him, you know, not to rough the punter, but, you know, very unlucky to, you know, get past the ball like that.